Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got some pretty big news to go over. Pokemon may have just accidentally leaked a new trailer that's going to be coming soon in the next month. We also have some new rumors to go over for Legend ZA. A new Pokemon Home update is also going to be happening very soon. A lot of things to break down and take a look at today. If you're excited for the video, drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. It really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new. Ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way, let's get into it and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, a Pokemon may have just made a little bit of a mistake. Now, we are kind of expecting news next month anyway because we have Worlds coming up in the middle of August, we have Pokemon at Gamescom at the end of August, and there's been a lot of kind of talk about a potential Pokemon Presents happening in the first, like, main week of August as well, around the 7th, 8th of August. But uh, this kind of just adds more fuel to the fire. Uh, a Pokemon have tweeted something out, they've also deleted it, uh, and it, like I say, it's a little bit sus, it might be something towards a new trailer. We have Light and Soul Silver uh, both talking about it here as well. Uh, but first off, Light here saying, according to the screenshots, it is possible that the Japanese Pokemon account has been able to leak that there could soon be some kind of progress, a trailer of Pokemon Legends EA or other stuff. They deleted the post afterwards, someone will be fired. So I don't know why this means it's going to be a trailer, but a lot of people are saying it does. So that's what we're kind of going off here. But these are the screenshots that they kind of posted. So uh, this was on the Japanese Pokemon account. This is legit. Uh, it's not like Photoshop or anything like that. Uh, and they deleted it very, very quickly as well. But it says approval flow test edit content added. So again, that is something to do with a potential trailer or something like that. That's just what everyone's saying. I don't know what it means, but I'm just like giving you guys the news. But that is apparently something to do with a trailer. Approval flow test edit content added. Uh, and then after that, um, we had this person here saying it's not a typo. It's probably a flag for a new release. Um, and, and again, the new release would be the, uh, the, the trailer. And then, of course, they, they went and deleted that tweet. So it was definitely something they shouldn't have posted because they deleted it pretty quickly. I don't know how quickly they deleted it. Uh, I woke up to, like, this information and stuff. So uh, no idea. But I'm assuming it was relatively quick. But the fact that Pokemon tweeted this out and then deleted it is a little bit sus. And like I say, we have Soul Silver Art kind of talking about this as well. Saying, I don't know how legit this is. Uh, but the Japanese Pokemon account may have leaked that a trailer of some sort could be happening soon. This could mean a trailer of anything, though. Plus, most of us fans are expecting news, at least uh, on Pokemon Pocket, in the coming weeks. Either way, we're getting closer. So, again, this was somebody else that kind of tweeted it out. Uh, Looney here saying, uh, Pokemon made a big whoops by leaking something they probably weren't meant to. Somebody is getting fired for sure. And, again, this is just uh, more, more posts and stuff about it. You know, this would be so funny if they accidentally leaked an upcoming trailer for Legends EA. Obviously, the poster is unavailable now. They deleted it. Uh, again, loads of people kind of saying that it is something that they shouldn't have leaked. It, it could be something towards uh, some potential trailer and stuff like that. So, again, that isn't a Legends EA trailer, though. It could be Pokemon Pocket. It could be a trailer for anything. But the fact that we're gearing up for kind of something in August and now they're accidentally leaking these things, uh, it just kind of all comes together and kind of makes you think, okay... We probably are going to get something next month. Again, we always seem to get presents in August anyway. Um, this year might be a little bit different because obviously we're not getting a game in November as of right now. Uh, so it, it could always be you know slightly different to what we're used to seeing. But at the same time, the fact that we've got so many things happening in August now and they're also kind of posting things like this by accident. It's just, I, I don't know, it kind of getting, it's getting people a little bit more excited. Like I say, obviously, don't overhype this you know don't think it definitely means anything because it is just something the pokemon accidentally delete uh, accidentally posted and then deleted it's obviously something they shouldn't have posted hence why they deleted it so quickly uh but at the same time fingers crossed it does mean uh it does mean something um so that's the kind of uh legend za potential trailer leak or couple for pokemon pocket again pokemon pocket might be a gamescom pokemon legend za might be a worlds and there might not be any presents next month if there isn't don't worry, like, in the first week, because there's probably not going to be a trailer the same week as, like, Presents. Uh, the same week as Worlds, it's just probably not going to happen. If we're going to get Presents, it's going to be week commencing the, uh, I think it's the 5th of August. I think that's when, yeah. So, 5th of August, so 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th. Again, 7th of 8th is the sweet spot. That's when a lot of people are thinking we do get something. But then after that, I mean, it, it, I guess it could be the week after that, because Worlds obviously isn't until the weekend, but... Are they really going to clump like a Presents and then Worlds all in one week? Probably not. They're going to at least branch out a little bit and space out a little bit. So that's just kind of my opinion on it. But yeah, 5th of August, the start of that week, something could happen. Anyway, that's the trailer stuff. Moving on, we do also have some Pokemon Home updates as well. We have Cerebi here tweeting out saying, Cerebi update, 
Pokemon Home is to undergo maintenance from midnight to 6 a.m. UTC on Thursday, April the 1st, 2024. A new update will release on mobile following the maintenance. Now, of course, this isn't anything to do with Legend ZA or anything like that. It's mainly for the mobile app, I do believe. Again, with Pokemon Home updates, there is always the slight chance that something gets datamined. You know, we found out a lot of stuff about datamines from, like, Mega Jinx to... Uh, potential other seller stealer forms, stuff like that. All these things do get data mined in Pokemon Home updates, but uh, because this is just for mobile, I wouldn't expect to see anything like crazy in this. But you never know, could get data mined. But either way, there is going to be a Pokemon Home update patch happening on the Thursday, the 1st of August. So in a few days from now. Uh, and then also, as well as that, we do have a new update as well happening with Pokemon Masters EX. So Cerebi update, the next Pokemon Masters EX event has been announced. Ultra Beast Meet and Greet adds the sync pairs of Elio and Stack Attacker and Celine and Nihilego, and it runs uh, from the 31st of July 2024. So, some more events happening in Pokemon Masters as well. There's been loads of stuff happening for the other mobile games, and that's probably just because we're not getting a game this year. So, they're kind of making the other mobile games, I guess, some like giving them something just so they have something like new this year for Pokemon. But at the same time, I still think we would still get like a load of stuff announced in a Pokemon Presents as well uh, next month. But anyway, those are the events. That is the Pokemon Home update and that is the uh, potential trailer leaks and stuff like that. Let me know your thoughts on all of that. Uh, we're going to finish the video off today with a pretty big rumor uh, that's popped up on 4chan. Uh, a few days ago, it was posted on the 23rd of uh, July. It's titled Legend ZA Information, posted by Anonymous. Again, on 4chan, as always, take it with a massive grain of salt. Probably false, but you never know. There have been things that have ended up being true on 4chan. This could be one of them. It's probably not. But either way, let's see what they say. So it says, Greetings. Uh, I've come across a few interesting things about the latest upcoming Pokemon title. I have a source from the Pokemon Company in-house translation team, although I can't reveal too much due to how the information is shared. So, yeah, they have a source about the in-house translation team, but, yeah, they, they obviously can't go into detail too much because they don't want to out the, uh, the, the source. But either way, that's how they apparently know this information. Anyway, they start off by saying the story, new Pokemon, new forms, new Megas, and then they also talk about Ride Pokemon as well. So they've labeled it very nicely, very easy to follow when it's labeled like this. But either way, so the story takes place after the Great War in Kalos, focused on rebuilding Lumio. So it is in the past. Um, it is, uh, again, the Great War happened ages ago, and I feel like the blueprints and stuff are going to be a lot further after that. So I think it's already kind of pretty fake I, I don't think it's going to be taking place after the great war i think personally i think it's gonna be like maybe like 50 to 100 years ago if that um and that's even if it's set in the past it could easily be set in the future as well we, we generally don't know we're just basing it off of the fact that legends arceus was kind of in the past um but either way rebuilding lumios after the great war it says in the past kalos was known as uh alonzias uh which again i don't think kalos is going to be called like they, they they referred to it as kalos in the kind of uh, promotional material and stuff like that. So that's why it's still going to be called Kalos. I don't know why it would be called something else. You know, Hisui was referred to as Hisui in the promotional material, which is why we knew that it wasn't going to be called Sinnoh in Legends Arceus. Whereas they've already referred to it as Kalos in the, like I say, the promotional material. So yeah, this alonzi ass thing, I don't know where they're getting that from. Uh, the game visually resembles late 1700s era France in both the style of the buildings and the HUD layout art style. Some of like how Legends Arceus was visually inspired by works uh, of the Meiji era. So yeah, I mean, hey, that could happen. Uh, we're still waiting for gameplay of the game. So once we see that hopefully next month we'll kind of have an idea of we'll have an idea straight away i think of when the game takes place i think as soon as we see the gameplay and we see the buildings and we see stuff like that it's going to be very self-explanatory when this game is going to take place it probably is going to be the past but you never know we we, we don't we can't 100 say that because we just don't know uh it then says lysander ancestor is the professor so i mean i could see that honestly um i think there will be some sort of lysander ancestry going on with other you know characters as well maybe sycamore uh, you know, characters like that probably will have some sort of ancestors in the game. Uh, the villain of the game is AZ, who reports of his ways after you defeat him, uh, or repents of his ways after you defeat him. So, um, again, I, 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 I mean, I could see it. I could see AZ being the villain. I think that would be kind of a cool um, twist as well if he was the the villain at the end. But at the same time, I just, I personally don't think it's going to happen. But again, that's probably why Eternal Floet left and everything like that because of the the kind of the, the weapon and stuff used in the Great War. So maybe that is the reason. Maybe he's going to be evil. He's still on kind of that like warpath situation. 
Uh, the combat is visually similar to Arceus, but instead of agile and strong moves, the central mechanic is being able to hit multiple Pokemon with one attack. So, you know, in, in the modern games, like moves like Surf, Earthquake, stuff like that, all hit multiple Pokemon. So, does that mean like moves like Quick Attack are now going to be able to hit multiple Pokemon? Or is it just going to be something different? I don't know. I quite, I quite like the idea of that, where like a move can hit multiple Pokemon that it usually couldn't. Um, will they keep strong and agile? Maybe. I don't know. I, I hope there's a lot of things that they keep in, in Pokemon Legends EA that they had in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Um, and I think strong and agile style just made, it's just a different way of playing. And I, I don't, I wouldn't like them to get rid of that. Uh, we have new Pokemon. So we have Trevenacre, which is a, an evolution of Trevenant, which is going to be Ghost Grass. Um, so a lot of, um, a lot of, uh, cross-gen evolutions in this game, apparently. Uh, we have Obeast, which is a Snorlax evolution, which is going to be normal grass. Um, I can't see Snorlax getting an evolution. I really can't. I, I, I yeah, I, I really, yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, we've got Yanmoga, which is a Yanmega evolution, which is going to be bug flying. Uh, Yanmega evolution, I mean, maybe. I, I don't really see the point. I, I can't really see the benefits of a, of Yanmega getting an evolution, but either way, apparently it's going to be bug flying. I feel like if it was going to get an evolution, it'd have to be dragon bug though. It's literally a dragon fly. Just make it dragon bug. Just don't make it bug flying again. Uh, we have Hyd Hydrapper, which is going to be a Scavillian evolution, which is going to be Fire Grass. I personally don't think we'll get any Generation 9 Pokemon in this game. I, I generally don't. Um, I, I think it's it's going to give the light to uh, Pokemon from the first six generations that maybe aren't on the Switch as much. You know, Pokemon like, I don't know, like Pidgey and stuff like that. Pidgey's generally not on the Switch that much. I mean, it was in Let's Go. It was in... Um, it was in uh, BDSP, but obviously it wasn't in Sword and Shield, it wasn't in Scarlet and Violet, it wasn't in Legends Arceus. Uh, just Pokemon like that, you know, from the first six gens that haven't been on the Switch that much. I, th I think they will get more of a limelight in this game than, you know, Generation 9 that we've literally got in Scarlet and Violet the game before this. Uh, we have Manicune, which is going to be a Persian evolution, which is going to be normal. Um, which, again, may maybe I don't really see the point of a Persian evolution. Either way, I've, we've got so many Meowth forms and Persian forms and stuff like that. We don't really need an evolution of it. And then we have Starus, which is going to be a Starmie evolution, and that's going to be Water Psychic. So that's all of the cross-gen evolutions in this game. Um, only one Generation 6 Pokemon getting cross-evolution cross there. Uh, we then move on to the new forms. So, Alonzi and Incineroar, so that's obviously going to be one of the starters. Fire Fairy, it's based on a French nobleman. So, this is like the Hisuian forms, really. We have uh, Alonzi and Inteleon, so Sobble, um, Sobble, Litten, and Chikorita are going to be the starters in this game, apparently. But Alonzi and Inteleon is going to be Water Steel, and it's based on the Marquis uh, de Lafayette, probably pronounced that wrong. And we also have Alonzi and Meganium, which is going to be Grass Ghost, uh, based on the Paris Catacombs. I feel like if we get a form of Meganium, we need it needs to be Grass Fairy. I feel like Grass Fairy suits it so much more than Grass Ghost. I feel like Fire Ghost would suit Incineroar more as well than Fire Fairy. I feel like it's just complete contrast to what their actual um, original typings are and stuff. So, yeah, Grass Fairy, I think, would be perfect for Meganium. I, I, I would love to see it. It'd get some really cool moves, like Moonblast and stuff. It'd probably get a really cool ability, Triage or something like that. Um... Yeah, I think it really, really work. Uh, speaking of Pidgeot as well, we have a Lonzian Pidgeot, which is going to be pure flying. Um, which, again, like, I, I don't know if it really needs a form. It already has a Mega Evolution. I don't I don't think it really needs a form as well. Uh, we have a Lonzian Bronzong, which is going to be Psychic Rog, uh, and it resembles the Arc de Tromp. Uh, and then we also have a Lonzian Parasect, which is going to be Bug Steel. Uh, the growth resembles the Eiffel Tower. That'd be a really cool form. I can see that as fan art. I can definitely see someone drawing that as fan art. I don't think it's going to happen in the actual game, but I think that'd be kind of cool. Uh, and then we have Alonzi and Brooksfish, uh, which, Brooksfish, which is going to be Bug Water, and it looks freaky. Uh, and then we also have new Mega Evolutions as well. So we have uh, Mega Arbok, which is going to be Poison Dragon. That would be really cool. I wouldn't mind a Mega Arbok, um, especially Poison Dragon. I think that would work really, really well. Uh, Mega Dragonite, so that would be Dragon Flying. Again, I think a Mega Dragonite could easily be Dragon Fairy as well. I, I just got that feeling. And it'd make it so much more OP as well. Like, Dragon Fairy would be so good for Mega Dragonite. Um, we have Mega Lapras, which is going to be Water Fairy. A lot of Pokemon, they get, like, Gigantamax forms and stuff for getting, uh, seemingly new uh, evolutions or whatever in this game. Um, but yeah, Water Fairy for, for Mega Lapras. I mean, yeah, I could kind of see it. I, I mean, I really like Lapras. I prefer my Lottic to get one, but I wouldn't mind Lapras getting one. Uh, Mega Eevee is a big giveaway that this is fake. Um, obviously, Mega Evolved Pokemon 
the, the, you only get a Mega Evolution if you're a fully evolved Pokemon. I get that Eevee is a little bit different in the terms that obviously it has the most evolutions and stuff in Pokemon, but it isn't a fully evolved Pokemon, and so it's not going to be getting a Mega Evolution in this game unless they change it for whatever reason. But that's a, it's a big giveaway that this is fake. Uh, we have Mega Dragapult, which is going to be Ghost Dragon. It looks like a fighter jet. Uh, Mega Speed Ops, which is going to be Bug and Dark. And the Mega Skelly Dirge, Quake Wobble, and Meow Scarada. So Skelly Dirge and Quake Wobble stay the same, but Meow Scarada becomes pure grass. Um, yeah, there's a lot of Generation 9 kind of... Like, we don't need back-to-back -back Generation 9 starters taking the limelight. Like, how would you make them... How would you give them the Mega Evolutions when there's Pokemon from uh, different generations like Generation 2, Generation 5, Generation 6 that haven't had anything... Um, and you're giving the Generation 9 stars a Mega Evolution, literally the game after they've come out. I can't see that happening at all. Uh, it says, Ride Pokemon Return, although they are called Ride Pager. So obviously that's very similar to the Ultra Sun and Moon games. Uh, they function similarly to Arceus. Game Freak noticed the positive reception to them and decided to leave them in. So, yeah, all in all, I'm, I'm just calling this fake. I don't think this is true at all. There's a lot of kind of loopholes and stuff in this. Um, you know, like the Mega EV doesn't really make sense. Uh, the story kind of uh situation doesn't really make sense for me anyway um i'm calling this fake let me know your thoughts on it though do you think this is true or not uh, and also let me know your thoughts on everything else that we covered today uh, the the pokemon masters event obviously the pokemon home update and then also do you think this could be more even more information or even more evidence towards a potential trailer next month because we're nearly in august we're a few days away you know, we're nearly in the month where we should be getting new stuff. So let me know your thoughts on this, though. But, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please do drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. It does really help out. Like I say, leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we covered in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new. Ring the notification bell. It's everything from me. Have a great rest of your day. And until next time, peace.